Aquaman himself has had a lot to say about the situation in Maui. But what about his thoughts on Oprah? Well, welcome to Beyond the Screen. I'm Nate, and these are the top 10 secrets Jason Momoa exposed about Oprah. Number 10, an advocate for Maui. Oprah has been claiming to be many things since the Maui backlash has begun. A good boss, a charitable woman, and an advocate for the island of Maui. By starting this fund and donating her spare millions, she has made her mark in the public as a woman who cares so much that she is asking you to give her your money. Isn't that sweet? The main reason people believe that Jason has not spoken on Oprah is because he knows that she is being a phony. As mentioned in a few previous videos, Oprah would not care about Maui or its people if she didn't have a vested stake on the island. Oprah has had property in Maui for quite some time, being almost a second home to her. When the fire started raging, she started fundraising. Think about all of the things that have happened in the past few years. We all forgot about this, but Australia was on fire in 2020. Uh, let's see, Western Canada was on fire earlier this year. Heck, some parts of Florida have been underwater for the past few weeks. Yet Oprah has dedicated her time and money to helping out the area where she has a vacation home. Number nine, the multiple snubs. Jason is of course a gifted actor, having his mainstream career launched when he starred in Game of Thrones as Khal Drago and cemented it when he portrayed Aquaman in Justice League. Now despite his several major screen roles and his work with various foundations and charities, Oprah has never invited him onto her show once. Jason has never outright complained about being snubbed by Oprah, but considering the person that he is with other talk show hosts, she was silly not to bring him on. He has a great story to tell and he is a joy, according to people like Jimmy Fallon and James Corden. As the years have gone by, Oprah's show was canceled, and she now oversees a ton of shows that are similar to hers, just from a production standpoint, rather than being on screen. Jason has not been invited to those shows either, but I'm not sure what he would have to contribute to Dr. Phil or Dr. Oz. Number eight. Trespasser. There is a video circulating the internet that many people are interpreting as a direct message to Oprah Winfrey. Jason released a video on his Instagram a few weeks ago urging tourists not to come to Maui as the place was on fire and they did not need anybody's help. He claimed that he appreciated anyone sharing love for the people of Maui and continued to say that there was someone trying to actually scam people out of money pretending to be him online. After sharing links to several sites that were directly linked to putting money into the pockets of the people of Maui, fans decided to focus on the bit about people staying away rather than that. At the same time that this was happening, Oprah and The Rock had announced the People's Fund of Maui, which was the thing that caused all of this backlash in the first place. In Jason's video, he does not include a link to the charity, and he does not even acknowledge its existence. He's since spoken out about the charity, but has never said the names Oprah or Dwayne Johnson aloud. People are just putting two and two together, and the internet has decided that Jason Momoa has called out Oprah Winfrey for being an absolute trespasser. Number seven, the lies online. Ever since the Maui situation has broken, content creators have done everything that they can to get views and share different sides of the Oprah story. One of those people is said to be Jason Momoa. Someone somewhere created a story about Jason Momoa calling Oprah Winfrey evil. A video claiming that she was to blame for Maui, that she was not to be trusted, you know, all that jazz. Someone said that was real. However, that's not true. The video in question was actually edited out of context and shared with the entire world. Beneath the edit was the caption, Jason calls out Oprah over Maui. Now because of the way that this was edited, and that little sentence burrowing into your mind, the second you clicked the video, it suddenly became the truth. People were so confident that Jason was pointing the finger, but in reality, like I've mentioned before, he actually has not mentioned Oprah or The Rock by name. The evil that he was referring to was the hackers on Instagram who were trying to catfish as him and asking people for money. Now I know the title of this video is Jason Momoa exposed Oprah, and up to this point these have been legitimate examples, but that's that's really all I have for specific Jason versus Oprah stuff. So for the rest of this video, why don't we just talk about the woman that you came here to learn about for a moment, Oprah Winfrey. If you made it this far, thanks for sticking around. Let's get into some dark Oprah secrets that were exposed. Number six, her free cars. Who could forget Oprah's famous words? You get a car, you get a car, everybody gets a car. She didn't say it like that, but I gotta put a little shimmy in it. The moment was historical on her series and was parodied time and time again and it still does get parodied today. What many people don't know is that it wasn't as simple as here are your keys, you know, have fun. When someone gives out anything on television, there is always a catch. For Oprah's audience, the catch was that if they wanted to drive away in their brand new car, they'd have to pay her $7,000 in taxes first. While Oprah's studio would of course cover the sales tax and the registration for each car, the audience members were given a 
choice. They either could pay the seven grand and take the car that they needed out of the studio, or they could just simply take cash instead. The infamous moment on the show featured 11 real teachers who were, according to Oprah, in desperate need of a new car. They, along with the audience, received keys in a box on camera that Oprah claimed to be for their new vehicles, but everything has a catch even now. For someone who was known for being such a charitable and generous woman, the word free really does mean something different to Oprah. Number 5. The NDAs Confidentiality agreements are not uncommon in the world of Hollywood. Marvel will literally hire someone to take you out if you even think about dropping a single line to the public. In Kitty Kelly's tell-all book about Oprah, the author mentions the confidentiality agreements that co-workers and guests were made to sign. Now this included everybody from guests like Tom Cruise to the person who made Tom's muffins. Over 500 staff members were forced to sign this document and one former employee, Elizabeth Cody, actually tried to write a book about her time working with Oprah. But she was stopped by the courts, still being tied to the agreement that she had signed. The NDAs were not meant to be a way to keep just the show secrets safe, but any and all of Oprah's secrets were locked in a vault. According to Elizabeth, the document was signed by almost everyone in Oprah's life. She may have this brand of sweetness and kindness, but in reality, that is apparently not even close. Elizabeth felt that she was in Oprah's pocket after signing the paperwork, and in 2010, a lawsuit was filed against Oprah and her company, claiming that the company Unicus Performance Training had violated the terms of her agreement, specifically involving advertising with her name. Oh, does someone give you a free ad? That's too bad. Number 4. Diva On air, Oprah is portrayed as this wholesome, sweet lady, but according to her stepmother and a ton of other people, there is an unknown side to Oprah, hidden from fans for years. According to Barbara, Oprah's stepmother, Oprah is one of the most controlling people that you're ever going to meet. She claims that Oprah will not allow them to stay at her house whenever they try to visit, forcing them to stay in hotels with money out of their own pockets. Barbara also said that Oprah was quick to anger when it came to her staff, with several people being fired left and right over the years just because. But that's not all. Despite being a billionaire, Barbara allows Oprah to stay at her house when she visits, something that Oprah apparently complains about the moment she steps through the door. The first time she ever stayed over, Oprah allowed allegedly complained that her bed sheets weren't a thousand threads and that her bath towels weren't big enough. I can forgive that last one. Giant bath towels are legendary. If you don't have one, I suggest you get one. This woman has billions of dollars to do literally anything that she wants and apparently what she wanted to do was make her family feel like they were a burden. Number three, she's a wild child. Several books have been published about Oprah over the years. Some of them were from her and some of them were not. In her own book that she wrote, she revealed that growing up she was far from an easy kid to handle. When she was young, she was sent to live with her father Vernon after Oprah was caught stealing from her mom's purse. And despite being an on-screen persona known for charity and kindness, she was actually a menace throughout most of her life, according to her family. As I mentioned previously, Oprah's stepmother is not allowed to stay at her house and she is known to be very controlling. She even admitted to doing some pretty troubling things at a very young age, including staging an amnesia bout, breaking several things in her mom's house, and then calling the police so they could come investigate. According to Oprah's mother, she was uncontrollable, ungrateful, and after that stunt, maybe a little crazy. Number two, her buddy, Dr. Phil. Oprah is not just responsible for hopes and dreams being squashed live on her show, but she's also the creator of many talk show celebrities, namely health expert Dr. Roz and the so-called life coach, Dr. Phil. Now before Dr. Phil had his own show, Oprah had asked him and his courtroom consulting firm, which is what he did before, to help her with a trial. Before meeting Oprah, Phil had zero interest in being a television personality, but then Oprah was like, hey, you should do it, and she made him see the light. According to Phil, she helped him understand the power of the show and what they were truly made for. Now for Dr. Phil, he brings people onto his show who are struggling with really personal issues that just so happen to be great for television. Remember that Catch Me Outside girl? Dr. Phil made her rich and famous. Thanks, man. But it's not just Phil that's had some controversial moments, but it's not just Phil that's had some controversial moments. Her other protege, Dr. Oz, has had some pretty rough moments. His show is centered around medicine and health, so he brings so-called, you know, experts on week after week. My mom loved this show. Oprah was partnered with both of these people, meaning that whatever they made, she got a little bit of something for her trouble. Now, she doesn't like to advertise how much she really made from these programs, but considering how many episodes they have and how long the programs have run for, it's probably a lot. And at number one, herself. Now, Oprah is taking the top spot on the list of dark secrets exposed by because 
She's been doing it since day one, okay? She did it to herself. Her talk show is all about bringing the most vulnerable people on to get views. She's brought violence victims, health experts, fake psychologists, and convicted felons onto her program, all for the sake of views and profit. As the years went by, her style was adapted by more and more people, with Dr. Phil and Dr. Oz just being two prime examples, but they are both equally as controversial. Not to mention, a few years back, she wrote a book detailing her early life and rise to the top, revealing a ton of dark stuff that could occupy its own list. She herself was considered to be a tyrant by her family, but it seems that whatever negative juju lived in that house, it rubbed off on Oprah. And those are some Oprah secrets that you deserve to know. Drop a like if you enjoyed our breakdown today, and please follow the channel if you haven't already for more celebrity content. Thanks for stopping me on the screen, and we'll see you next time.